wiem, że wydali album, a teraz znowu muszę wam tutaj powiedzieć, że wydali Splita, Splita z grupą Bakterii i powiem tak, posłuchajmy tych Bakterii, bo naprawdę warto, jest to też bodajże, skąd oni są, zaraz sobie tutaj sprawdzę wszystko za chwilkę, najpierw posłuchajmy, a za chwilę do tematu wrócimy. Więc dalszy ciąg przeglądu nowości, e, grupa Bactery. Grupa Bactery. Z reguły, no, jak już jakaś kapela wydaje jakiś split, to rzadko o tym mówię. No, ja jeszcze rzadziej mi się zdarza po prostu omawiać jeszcze dodatkowo niepromowaną grupę, ale tutaj zrobiłem wyjątek. Chociaż taki trochę trash metalowo zajeżdża, to Bactery, która pochodzi z, uwaga, Chile. Jest to kapela z Chile. Myślę, że robi świetną robotę. Dobrze, split, o którym mówimy, nosi tytuł The Spirit of Decay. Możecie go znaleźć na Bandcampie u grupy Confront Stage, czy też właśnie Bactery. No i zawiera sześć kawałków. 3 na 3 można powiedzieć, no jak to split, za 7 dolarów można go mieć, tak więc warto, warto zobaczyć. A teraz jeszcze raz Bactery i za chwilę będzie Confront Stage.
No kurczę, to jest metal pełną gębą jeszcze na dodatek Szcile. Grupa Bakterii, moi drodzy, na splicie The Spirit of Decay, gdzie głównym tematem miał być właśnie grupa Confront Stage. Confront Stage z St. Petersburga z Rosji, więc nadróbmy już ten brak punk rocka, bo robi nam się jakaś metalowa audycja. Confront Stage z utworem They Cannot Break. All right, and uh, we're gonna go in a totally different direction with this second one. Uh, fuck it, Tom, go ahead and roll it. Stream was so good. Mm-hmm. It's a little pushed back, but it still sounded full and dirty. That was fun. Mm. Yeah, I, it, I, I dug it. It is. Uh, so that was En La Crypta off of Terror Inhumano by Bactery. Hmm. <laughs> is that like a bacteria factory? I have no idea. They're from Chile, so. I hope that's what it's supposed to be. That would be good. Eh. I, I have no idea. I don't know what half of these titles mean. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> it, there's always a slight weirdness when you're listening to something that's in another language because you're like, especially if you're listening to something like black metal or something like that, you're like, this 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 could be saying some real bad things. I was thinking I'm, the exact same thing. I, I, I worry about that too a lot of the time if it's from... Uh, more European countries. Yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> something about uh, these guys. I'm, I'm not too worried about it. No, <laughs> it's 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 the it's the risk you take for anyone who's not really aware. It's the risk you take, especially when you're listening to like a lot of Eastern European bands. Like you kind of always just take the risk. You're like you're like, oh, these riffs are pretty cool. And then you look up the translated lyrics. They're like, oh, they're advocating for genocide. Okay, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, God fucking damn it. Like, yeah, at least I didn't, we, at least I haven't bought it yet. We, we've had one of those run ins early, early on in yep. this show. Was, and I uh, got, oh, yeah. I was, I was very upset. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Frank I, was I, none I, too thrilled. I, I, rem- I remember feeling very, very bad for Frank when that happened. Had to get the tattoo laser removed. <laughs> <laughs> that made my dick Fuck. burn. <laughs> Well, yeah, no, this is just some fun old school fucking black metal. Yeah. It's got that that that's still really thrashy vibe. I mm-hmm. love when they incorporate the the dual vocals towards the end there. It uh it works really. It's got almost uh like a ghoul sort of vibe to it. A little at bit. Moments. A little bit. A little bit. This this band this band could easily be seen opening up for someone like Ghoul. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. 
Uh, I, just get it. I, I, just, I love the fucking font they use for their logo. Everything I'm pretty, I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's a slight variation on. Like